take a look behind me here. I want to show you what's going on. This huge crane is taking limbs off of this house. This crane drove all the way up here from Fort Smith and it's helping take the limbs off of this house. I want to also show you the roof here. You can see the people working here behind me. You can also see the hole in the roof. The owner of the home says the tree that fell was at least 140 feet tall. All of a sudden, we're just hearing all this litter hitting the top of the house. And I told her, I said, man, there's a lot of limbs falling on the house. Yep. And about that time, with a sound you can't even imagine, this tree came down. The 140-foot tree crashed through the roof of Jan Pruitt's house last night. The living room, dining room, and sunroom were completely destroyed. And just minutes before the tree fell, the couple had been watching TV right where it came crashing down. Where she was, she'd been dead as a doornail because the roof, when the tree took the wall in, it completely cut that chair in half where she was. Insulation and shards of wood litter the whole house. Pruitt had been standing just feet away from a wooden beam when the tree fell. When the uh, broken piece of wood came down, uh, just missed, it. missed my face by about a foot. It happened so fast they didn't see it coming. It was so. just a matter of seconds. I mean, from the time we walked from the deck, you know, and it was over and, and the house was collapsed. They're cleaning up the mess, and although the house is a total loss, Pruitt says they have a lot to be thankful for. Well, I lost, you know, a lot of personal Sentiment. keepsakes, things that had been, you know, with my family for years. But, you know, we both walked out of it, so things can be replaced. People can't. The crew from Fort Smith is working super hard here. You can see these limbs are huge, so this is going to be a huge task. The city of Bella Vista says it's taking its crews off the streets at 6 o'clock tonight so they can get some rest. Some of those crews have been out here working since midnight, and the crews will be back on the streets at 6 a.m. tomorrow. Reporting live in Bella Vista, Emma Claybrook, 4029 News.